with sweet redemption gets the victory at Daytona. Well, here's a call from Dan. Now you see it, man. Yeah, you can see it come off the corner. Yeah! Yeah! Matt Kenseth, Menard, Vickers, and more. Look at this pileup. I think this could really pay off for these guys. We know what they can do. We've seen them do it earlier today. Oh, oh no! Stenhouse. Stenhouse pounds the wall, but they took the white flag. Chase Elliott, Alex Bowman, Ryan Freese. Logano on the outside. Oh, and Byron's Byron. around. He crashes. Caution oh, is out. Heavy, heavy impacted world. inside wall by the 42 Larson. And with the checkered flag, Chase Elliott wow. has brought the Elliott name back to victory lane at Talladega. Great job. Chevy, Brian, one, two, Brian. three, four. At, he's hoping to lead one more. White flag is out. It's one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Now, how committed is Justin Algar to his teammate? Does he try to make the pass for the win? He's got a nice little gap there. I believe he's poised to make that move, Joey. Yeah, he definitely just backed up. He's going to see a big run here from Justin Algar. It's going to be up to up to a net to make a big block here. Frozen on you fast. Half back, watch to three and four for the final Daytona. time. Nice block by a net. It's all on the line at Daytona. Down low, Christopher Bell all by himself. Side raft off to Ryan Sieg. Here they come through the trioval. Annette going side to side, he's blocking. Here is the checkered flag, Michael Annette, first career victory, it comes at Daytona. <laughs> How about that? turn two and he is he's up high and got a nice run down the back straight away not sure it's too little too late but i think he's going to be right there at the back bumper kozlowski to the bottom looking nose to tail off turn four so close wow he was there joey logano scores his first win of the season in his championship defense Jimmy, contact. And around mm -hmm. goes Bernard mm -hmm. into the wall. Taking cars with it. Clear, clear, clear. All clear. Big, big wreck. You got it. Well, I'm just wondering, did that suck the back end of the car around on Bernard? Or did they make contact that turned him around? When the 48 gets on your bumper like that, it probably was had something to do with it. Four cars were out in front of that melee. Turn one, Austin Dillon gets turned. They are tearing it up in the middle of the pack. Check it up, check it up, check it up. It's going to be big. Check it up, check it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Way slow, way slow inside. It was pretty incredible driving through there. There was a lot of carnage. Ooh, took a year off my life right there. I feel like almost everyone in the field wrecked. That's not true, but there was a lot of cars that sustained damage and, and a lot of cars going every which way. You gotta have an escape route. That's the whole thing about driving. You gotta have an escape route when something goes wrong. And we made sure we stayed far enough back if it did happen, which it did, which you know, everybody knows it's gonna happen eventually, that he would get through it. 
Luckily, you did. Kurt Busch, Landon Castle, Justin Haley, J.J. Yaley, and Michael McDowell. That is your top five here at Daytona. The wind is definitely blowing this way and still getting closer. Lightning's picking up some more. So they're not going to call it here. So we'll come in and put four tires of fuel on it right here. Kurt and Landon Castle, they pulled off to, to pit. And we're like, man, we just need another lap. And there's for sure lightning close. Let's just stay out and see what happens. Maybe we'll get lucky. Another strike of lightning. Yep, I saw it too. I wasn't going to pit because I got to go to lap 145 on gas. So we were just going to stay out and just ride it, ride the, you know, ride the weather out and see what happens. Cross short bridge, taking Dr. Field Road this time. We have lightning in the area. Coming to pit road this time. You're coming to pit road. Are you kidding me? The driver at the front of the field right now is 20-year-old Justin Haley. It would be the biggest upset in NASCAR history. He's going to take the lead now. What, what will Almadier do on corner exit? Did he move far enough away? He used a bumper. They gave permission for Almadier. Almadier right on his rear bumper. Will he use his front bumper in six? A little bit of contact, pushing him. Moon drives him into the corner deep, drives underneath him. Got to move past Cedric, can Cedric stay close enough to him to return the favor? Whoever has the last attempt at the bumper is going to win this one. Now, he moves to the inside. The white flag is out, side by side. Cedric out in front again. Austin Cedric looking for his first ever win in the Xfinity Series. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. They dive deep into turn number one. Cedric slides into Tad wide. Digger goes wider. Here they come now into turn two. Into the S's for the final time in Watkins Glen. Cedric trying to hang on to the race car. But A.J. Allman Digger is there. He is on the back bumper. This is the battle for the win. Digger wants the inside and Cedric will not let him have it. Amazing run through the S's for Allman Digger. But Cedric pulling away toward the braking zone. AJ is not close enough to be able to do anything here in the inner loop. Through the inner loop, Cedric looks in the mirror, hoping to see some a gap between him and Al Almendinger to be able to get comfortable through this carousel. No mistakes for the 22 through the carousel on corner exit, driving away, extending that lead. Austin Cedric now has a big enough gap on Almendinger. He can just be cool, be smart. You do not have to overdrive turn six to stay far enough away from him. Job done, now set up turn seven, comes in a checker. Brian Wilson, the crew chief, made the call, brought him to pit road for fresher tires. The 20-year-old makes the final turn. He comes in front of the grandstands. He'll get his first Xfinity Series win. Austin Cedric does it at the Glen. Yeah! Thank you! Yeah, I love you guys! One to go. Now Kyle Larson just rocking it on right. turn four. That highline really paid off for him. But Bubba's got that inside working pretty good, and he's holding his own. Is there a little bit of contact? Yeah, between the 42 and the 43 of that's, Bubba Wallace. That's, that's, a, that's side draft. That's a little too much side drafting. Here they come. Winner advances. Everybody else stays out. Awesome job by Bubba Wallace. Oh, Here comes watch that bottom. Watch that bottom. It's William, William Byron. Byron. Yes. yes. William Byron did it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> what are you doing, didn't Mike? see that coming. I, did, I didn't see any of that coming. Hey, William told Chuck, and now so I, I can get this done. <laughs> and he did. Yeah, but he did it with four tires. That was pretty amazing. <laughs> oh, that was fun. And then, but, but the guy. Oh. <laughs> How about that? Rick Hendrick puts another of his Camaros. It's Newman! Oh, the oh, sideways! Oh, he saved it! He saved it! That's going to give that 12 car a chance to get another run, but Newman way out front. They're going to have a big run coming up on this six car down the front straightaway. Huge here. block coming right here. Blaney, as they go around the 37, almost upside down. So is the 96, Parker Kligerman. Here they come. They make contact. They're side by side. It's a photo finish at the line. Blaney and Newman were side by side when they crossed the line. Unbelievable finish. Yes, we didn't beat him regardless. Blaney, by just a foot, is going to get the win over Newman.